Hello, welcome to the Friday, April 12th, 2019 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. One ongoing weak point when it comes to having sort of a complete end-to-end -end encrypted internet has been email. With email, of course, you can enforce encryption as you are connecting with your mail client to your mail server, but the issue there has been connections between mail servers. The solution here has been for a long time start TLS, uh, which works quite well, but has the big problem that the initial negotiation has to happen in the clear and can easily be manipulated. Now, recently at the end of 2018, an RFC was released that described a new standard called SMTP MTA Strict Transport Security, or short MTA STS. The idea is a little bit uh, like what we have with strict transport security in HTTP, where we have an HTTP header that tells us that this particular website is only reachable via HTTPS. Now, uh, with email, of course, uh, we don't really have headers like this. Instead, the information is being communicated via DNS. So we have a specific DNS record that a server can first query to check if a server is about to connect to should offer TLS. If you want to read the details, it's RFC 8461. But the real problem, of course, with all these standards is while the standard is looking pretty good, does anybody actually implement it? And today we actually got a commitment from Gmail to implement this standard and a related standard. That's RFC 8460. And it is SMTP TLS reporting with SMTP TLS reporting, Gmail would then send uh, reports daily to mail servers telling them whether or not the TLS connections were established or failed. So interesting step forward here from Google to actually support this standard. Uh, now, of course, we need to get other mail servers to actually implement it so Google can take advantage of this new extension to SMTP. And if you're running Juniper switches, uh, time to apply a patch. In this particular case, uh, JunoS patches uh, the gRPC component. gRPC is a remote procedure call interface that sort of comes out of Google and is a lighter weight HTTP2 based uh, RPC or remote procedure call interface, often used uh, for simple sort of quick API calls. And Juniper uses it for its telemetry component. So if you're not using telemetry, you should be good. Also, you can just disable gRPC if you're not using it and if you don't want to patch right away. And then I have an important correction to one story I reported about yesterday. I reported about the North Korean malware and I mentioned Naver.com. Well, it uh, turns out that Naver.com is actually not a North Korean search engine. It's a South Korean search engine. And as I hear from, for example, Jason here, it is a great search engine to find good places to eat in South Korea. So certainly nothing that you would like to block. And thanks, of course, to everybody who wrote in informing me of this mistake. And earlier today it became known, was reported on various websites, that uh, the Uniden.com commercial website was used to distribute malware. Now, Uniden, if you're not familiar with the company, they produce a number of consumer electronics pieces, but on their commercial site, they're focusing on IP cameras. And of course, we all know that the sort of network cameras are typically quite insecure. So no real big surprise here that Uniden doesn't really know how to patch WordPress, which appears what they're using on this website. Now, the real risk here, I thought, was, uh, no, 
people downloading malicious drivers or such if an attacker would be able not just to add files like it in this case, but also to replace files. So I took a quick look at how Uniden deals with software downloads. They actually have a different website here, support.uniden.com, but that site also appears to be using WordPress. It does not offer HTTPS at all for downloads. Uh, if you try to force HTTPS, you actually get a bad certificate. So wouldn't really be surprised if this support.uniden.com website is compromised as well just haven't found any specific malware hosted on it while I was uh, poking around a little bit uh, through the site and talking about these insecure downloads, Google Chrome is actually currently considering to no longer allow high risk downloads over HTTP. In particular, if the link to the download shows up inside an HTTPS page. So for example, high risk downloads like executables would not be available if the link points to an HTTP version of the site. Well, and this is it for today. Uh, we also have another package challenge actually coming. I hope we'll get it out on Monday morning. Thanks and talk to you again on Monday. Bye.